I have many hopes and dreams for Jackson, but the one thing that I wish for the most is that he lives a happy and long life. When Jackson was born, we did not expect him to be coming out having seizures. When my husband said he's having seizures, from that moment, my heart just dropped because I knew that our life would be changed. We are always scared every moment of the day. Every morning I wake up, the first thing I do is make sure that Jackson is okay. The movement and the mobility is also devastating too because I am his arms, I am his legs. I always say without the Test Research Foundation, my family would be lost. When we founded Test Research Foundation, I had a new baby who had recently been diagnosed with SLC13A5 epilepsy and a 10-year-old daughter who also had SLC13A5 epilepsy and was having hundreds of seizures a day. We started Test Research Foundation in order to try to find better answers for Tessa and for Colton but we also wanted to find better answers for families around the world. There was no infrastructure in place to change the trajectory, and we set out to change that, and we have. I can now say with immense pride that Tessa, who has had hundreds of thousands of seizures, has now been seizure-free for almost three years. Um, Colton has been incredibly stable, He's also been seizure free for the last year and a half. On the research front, we have put in place an incredible infrastructure and roadmap that will cure SLC13A5 epilepsy. Today, the tools and resources that we have available for our clinicians and researchers are, are really impressive. We are now in an extremely exciting phase where we get to get these medications from labs into children so that we can truly impact their future. Our goal is to make sure that a diagnosis of SLC13A5 epilepsy comes with a solid treatment plan and hopefully a cure. We are determined to see a child born with this disorder who goes on to graduate from college and live independently. It's pretty amazing how much we know now that we didn't know five years ago, but I have great hope because the Test Foundation exists and it's been funding researchers and it's going to collect all this data from all the patients from all over the world. The Test Foundation has funded what's called the Natural History Study. The Natural History Study is now enrolled about 22 kids uh, across the world, and we've collected information about the frequency of their seizures, the medications they're on, um, and also developed what we hope is a very good assessment of their movement that can be used in the future uh, for a clinical trial. By doing this now, it'll make it much faster when the actual therapy is available to be tried. We'll know exactly where to go with the therapy, what to use as a marker. SLC13A5 is a disease which affects children and families worldwide, and the effort to study it is also a worldwide effort. The seed money that the Test Foundation provides is absolutely essential to go from a basic idea to, to a large grant or, or the evidence you need to get a large grant. What we're doing is developing a drug that is intended to address the cause of the disease. A gene therapy for SLC13A5 deficiency would not be possible without the TESS Foundation. The TESS Foundation has been critical in providing the funding for driving this gene therapy development forward, as well as for bringing basic researchers, clinical experts, and the patient population together so that we can combine our knowledge to continue to drive this to clinical trial and potentially to an FDA approved drug. Hi, I'm Michael and this is my wife Amber. This is our son Rowan and we live in Guelph, Canada. It's very scary, it's very raw, the emotions that we're feeling with this diagnosis for Rowan. It's heartbreaking when you when you have a, a vision of, of what your baby is going to be like and to find out that those things might not happen or might not happen in the way that we anticipated is devastating. Having the test community has meant that we went from having zero answers in the first month to suddenly having this, this life raft in the middle of an ocean where we could cling to 
And immediately we were pulled onto this, this cruise ship where we not only have uh, a community around us, a place where we're welcomed, a place uh, that has information and answers for us, but we also have a destination to more effective treatments and fingers crossed, a cure for this diagnosis. Having these opportunities, whether that's in the next year or five years, is so promising and it really impacts our days. And I think that's how we have so many good days and how we can maintain uh, a level of optimism that some people don't understand is, is because we know that there are these potential treatments on the horizon that could be life-changing.